Pogo to meet us at my house at 6.30. Where is she? Did you tell her what was going on? Maybe she's avoiding the situation. She doesn't know about the intervention. We're just trying to help. She'll understand that. Right? Do you think she'll let us help her? I mean, she thinks what she's doing is okay. I don't think she'll be convinced that easily. Hey, we're not leaving here until she agrees to get some help. All the signs are there. Withdrawal from social situations, temper flares, mood swings, changes in her eating and sleeping habits. She's addicted. <laughs> you are right. She has really bad mood swings. I'll get it. It's okay. I let myself in. We need to talk to you. Have a seat. It's okay. I'll stand. What do you guys want to talk about? I am i can't stay long. I have to go shopping with Paul later. Paul has the same problem. She's probably the one that got her into it. Got me into what? What are you guys talking about and why are you acting so weird? Just take a seat and we'll explain it to you. You can explain whatever it is while I'm standing. See what I mean about the mood swings? What mood swings? What? Why are you guys looking at me like I'm in the middle of an intervention? Who told? What? We need to talk to you about your problem, Jessica. What? What problem? I'm leaving. <laughs> you can't run away from it, Jessica. What the hell are you talking about? Your addiction. You're in denial, sweetie. We're your friends. We want to help you. Jessica, you know what we're talking about. It's practically taken over your life. You guys are completely insane. I'm not addicted to anything, and my life is completely under control. Except for you psychos who are making me crazy. Hey, don't blame us for what you can't control. Blame yourself and your shoes. Shoes? This is about my addiction to shoes? <laughs> Do you guys realize how pathetic you are? I like shoes a lot, but not enough to call a goddamn intervention. You own $15,000 worth of shoes. So? They take up three closets in your house. The shoes need their space. You're referring to your shoes like they're people. I did no such thing. You're wearing a new pair. Can't you see you're out of control? God, how much did they cost? None of your business. Who are they? <laughs> Roberta Cavalli. Ooh. Hey! hey! How much were they, Jessica? 200. Plus? 500. Equals? 750. God, do you hear the guilt in your voice? Hey, it's my money, my closet space, and my life. So butt out. The first step to recovery is acceptance. We're your friends. We want to help you. What about your little problem, Teresa? Hey, she's not the one that needs help. You're not playing fair. You have no reason to be preaching about me about not being in control. Especially with the collection you have going. That was a secret! How much longer do you think you could have kept a secret like that? I thought you were my friend. You're so selfish! You bought a $700 pair of shoes. I collect artifacts, part of history. They'll be worth tons of money one day. It's an investment. You think the entire cast of friends will be worth money someday? God! You spend as much money on that crap as I do on my shoes. Do not. Name one time. Ringo? What the hell are you guys talking about? I'm sensing some confusion. Bobbleheads. She collects bobblehead dolls. It's a doll collection. They're not dolls. Ringo's part of the Beatles collection. I have the whole set now. <laughs> doll collection? Oh, how lame. God. I stopped collecting dolls when I was like 10. How many do you have, Teresa? She has the entire Mariners team, including the Moose. <laughs> the first step to recovery is acceptance. You guys just don't understand. What is it you really want? Unconditional love, acceptance. Are you afraid of spending your entire life alone? Dying an old maid who never had anyone? Are you replacing your relationship with people with bobbleheads? I think that's your underlying problem. God, and I thought you were immature before. Oh, shut up, Lindsay! Hey, do you have the entire cast of Happy Days? Hulk, Batman, and friends? Do they all have moving parts? Does Barbie have a bobblehead? Don't be ridiculous! And yes, Barbie has a bobblehead doll. Oh, God! And you've got it right. You're still collecting Barbie dolls at your age? <laughs> That's kind of absurd and kind of pathetic, if you ask me. Well, no one asks you, you perv! Don't call me that. Sicko. Shut up. Boyer. <gasps> Teresa, you need to chill out. 
He's not the one with the problem. We need to address the bobbleheads. No, hers is so much worse than dolls. She has a ton of- You swore! You swore you would never tell anyone! I just thought since we were all getting help tonight, you sure could use some. Um, I know I have a problem and I can handle it by myself. Besides, it's too embarrassing. Didn't we cover Jessica anyways? This is on you guys now. <laughs> the first step is admitting you have a problem. I just did. I said, I know I have a problem. So... The second step is telling me what it is. If we guess what it is, will you tell us? You won't guess. I know what it is. Can I give hints? Uh, no! Is it sex? No, but close. <laughs> no, not at all. Are you a peeping Tom? No! Are you into S&M? Well, you mean bondage? No! Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You don't know that. You've got it. I've seen it. I, I you can't make believe you're all still the assumptions assumptions about about this. Wait! How? It's porn! No. <laughs> Liar! You're addicted to porn? I'm sure lots of people have that problem. <laughs> you're the only girl, though. <laughs> I need help. It's hidden behind my bookcase where no one can find it. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's got like a car crash and I can't help but look at it. It's taking over my weekends. I'm losing sleep. I've even lost my sex drive. Do you know how much porn you have to watch to lose your desire to have sex? I don't know what to do, guys. Please, I need your help. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was that bad. How about this? We can all come over to your house and build a big fire in the backyard and burn it all, okay? How does that sound? I can't do that. Why not, honey? Too much too soon? Do we need to start slow? Uh, no, it, it's just that it's really bad for the ozone layer to burn plastic. You know what? Why don't you just tell us how we can help you? Yeah, okay. Just give me a second to think about it. I have a better idea. We can take it away from you. We'll come over, pack it up, and we'll take it somewhere where you can't get it. You'll know it's there, but it won't control you anymore. <laughs> okay, but where do we put it? There's a lot of it, and we can't keep it at my house. That's a good point. I can't think of anywhere we could put a closet full of it. <laughs> and we all know that I don't have any extra closet space. Hey, when you clear out that closet, can I store some of my shoes there? I'm not going to be your enabler, Jessica. Fine. Who has storage? I don't have any. OK, it's decided. I'll be the keeper of the porn. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. You probably saved my life. That's why I, I mean, we do it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Come on, guys. Big group hug. Aww. Okay, I have to ask, Robert. We all know we have our vices. What's yours? I don't think I have any. I like to think I'm a well-balanced individual. He's addicted to interventions. This is the third one he's had this week. What? So I hear Maggie Brown's a chocoholic. First step to recovery is admitting you have a problem.